Water fountain. Drinking fountain. Bubbler. English is spoken widely all over the world, which is pretty convenient until you realize it's not always the same English. Many people are already aware of the differences in dialects between English spoken in America versus that spoken in, for example, Britain. But even in the United States, there are dozens of dialects, all their own. Dialects evolve for many reasons and have a tendency to migrate laterally. For example, my dialect is right here, which I share with upstate New York. If I travel north or south, people start to sound a little different. We pronounce words differently and use different words for some of the same things. We might even honor different grammatical rules. Considering how expansive the United States is and how many different cultures are represented here, it's hardly surprising. Some regional terms are borrowed directly from other languages, native or otherwise, that are commonly spoken in that region. Others come about as a result of necessity to describe local phenomena or to bridge a gap in communication, such as English's infamous lack of second-person plural. Consider the creative ways English speakers have found to get around this gap. Most regions have figured out a way of quickly explaining whether they're addressing just you or yourself and your friends. Other differentiations are more mysterious. For example, why is it called Coke in Texas, soda in California, and pop in Ohio? Or this curiosity. I'm looking at you guys, Wisconsin and Rhode Island. A native speaker can pick up on a dialect quickly, and sometimes people use it to determine who you are, where you came from, and even your class or ethnicity. While some people consider dialect differences to be merely quaint, it's actually a politically charged conversation. The word dialect itself suggests that the way you say something is different or not normal. Who gets to decide the right way to say something? Implying someone's way of speaking is incorrect invalidates their way of communicating and, in essence, their culture. In reality, we all speak dialects, though some of us see our dialects in the media more than others. So the next time you hear someone refer to y'all or you guys as good friends, appreciate the differences that make English rich and interesting. 